This metal table is used as a potting station. It's been around for many, many years and therefore it holds a lot of memories. But because it's been exposed to the elements as well as quite a bit of water, unfortunately, it also holds a bit of rust. So I decided to get stuck in, do a bit of DIY, give it restoration and most importantly, give it a new lease of life by simply using the Fired Earth Painters Pro Red Oxide as well as the QD enamel. Let me show you how. Preparation on a project like this is a bit time consuming, but as we all know, the shortcut takes the longest route and to get the best possible outcome, the right preparation is key. The absolute first step is moving the table away from the house as we're going to be making a lot of dust when cleaning. You'll also see that I've had some cross braces welded on for additional support. I'll start by using a combination of both a grinding and sanding disc on an angle grinder. Now, when working with an angle grinder, always make sure that you have the right PPE. And I'm using gloves, ear and eye protection. Now, there's going to be a lot of dust here, so please wear a mask as we don't want to breathe this dust in. I'm going to sand and grind away all the old paint and rust to get this back to bare metal. So I've gotten all of the paint off and most of the rust removed. But before I apply the red oxide, I need to give it a good wipe with thinners. This is going to remove any grease, grime and other contaminants that might prevent the paint from adhering to the surface. Before I do that, I'm going to start by laying a drop sheet. The thinners simply evaporates in a few minutes and once dried, I can start with the Fight Earth QD Red Oxide. By the way, QD here stands for Quick Dry. Fired Earth Painters Pro Quick Drying Red Oxide Primer is a primer for mild and galvanized steel, which is quick drying and has good adhesion. It protects metal and even if there are traces of rust remaining, red oxide through a chemical process is able to adhere and helps prevent future rusting. However, red oxide is not a top coat and should be painted over with Fired Earth Painters Pro quick drying enamel or a range of Fired Earth Painters Pro water and solvent based top coats. Red Oxide is a solvent based paint and cleaning should be done with thinners before the brushes dry. The application of the Red Oxide is done. Now remember, Red Oxide is not a top coat and it should be painted over and for that I'm going to be using the Fired Earth Painters Pro quick drying enamel but firstly I need to leave this to dry at least overnight. Come back tomorrow and apply the top coat. This is a proper enamel and I've gone with the color dark gray. Again, I'm going to apply it using a paintbrush. Always ensure your paints are mixed well all the way to the bottom of the container. This quick enamel tries to a gloss finish. It has excellent adhesion properties and it's available in a range of standard colors. Drying time for the first coat is about four hours. However, it is temperature dependent. Oh, don't worry if you get some color bleed coming through, that'll be covered by the second coat, which of course we will do once the first coat has dried. Restoration complete, and I've also placed a sheet of galvanized expanded mesh. This will allow the water to run off, therefore preventing rust from forming at the top in the future. Now, most importantly, I think this looks great and is definitely ready for many years of service living outdoors. Shop a range of Fired Earth Painters Pro in store or online at builders.co.za. And for more videos like this, check out the blog on the website. Get to Builders, get it done.